In these questions, we're adding decimals with tenths. So first, we have 3.1 plus 2.6. We can set this out as a column addition, making sure that we have our decimal points lined up. Because if our decimal points are lined up, then our ones and our tenths place value columns will be lined up as well. One thing that's really important is that we copy the decimal point down into our answer, and I like to do this straight away so that I don't forget. Now, we can just use column addition, working from right to left, so starting by adding our tenths. 1 plus 6 is 7, and now we can move on to our 1's column, and 3 plus 2 is 5, so our answer is 5.7. Now, we have 3.9 plus 3.3. So again, we can set this out as a column addition, making sure that our decimal points are lined up so that our ones and our tenths columns are lined up as well. We can copy the decimal point down into our answer, and now we use column addition. 9 plus 3 is 12, so that's 1, 2. And now, 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 7, so our answer is 7.2. So to show what we did, first we had 3.1, so that's 3 holes and 1 tenth, and we were adding 2.6, so that's 2 holes and 6 tenths. We started by adding our tenths, and if we put our tenths together, you can see that we now have 7 tenths, and this fraction bar is now empty, so we can ignore it. So, adding our whole numbers, we have 3 plus 2, which gave us 5. Then, we had 3.9, so that's 3 holes and 9 tenths, and we were adding 3.3, so that's 3 holes and 3 tenths. We started by putting our tenths together to make 12 tenths, but 12 tenths is the same as 1 hole and 2 tenths, that's why we carried the one hole over to the ones column and left the two in our tenths answer line. Then one plus three plus three is seven, and you can see here that we have seven holes altogether. We could also show what we did using place value counters. So for this first question, we started with 3.1, so that's three holes and one tenth. First, we added six tenths, so let's add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths. That gives us 7 tenths altogether. And then we added 2 holes. So if we add 2 ones, that gives us 5 ones altogether. So gives us our answer of 5.7. Then for the next question, we started with 3.9. So 3 holes and 9 tenths. And in this question, we had to exchange. We're adding three tenths, but if we add one tenth, we then have ten tenths, which we can exchange for one whole. So we've added one tenth, so let's add two, three tenths, and that gives us two tenths that we have in our answer line. Then we added three ones, so if we add one, two, three ones, you can see that we now have seven ones altogether. So now let's try some more questions. We have 3.4 plus 0 0.6. So again, we can set this out as a column addition, making sure that our decimal points are lined up and copying the decimal point down into our answer line. We work from right to left, so we start by adding our tenths. 4 plus 6 is 10, so that's 1, 0, and then 1 plus 3 plus 0 is 4, so our answer is 4.0. But 4.0 can just be written as 4, because all the point zero tells us is that we don't have any tenths, but showing a whole number also shows us that we don't have any tenths, so we don't need to write the point zero in our answer. Finally, we have 3.7 plus 3.5. So, we set it out as a column addition, copy the decimal point down into our answer line, and now 
7 plus 5 is 12, so 1, 2. And 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 7, so our answer is 7.2. Let's see what we did here. We started with 3.4, so that's 3 wholes and 4 tenths. And we were adding 0 0.6, so that's no wholes and 6 tenths. You can see that when we put our tenths together, we get 10 tenths, but 10 tenths is the same as one whole, and then we just have an empty fraction bar, which we can ignore. So, rather than 4.0, we can just write 4 as our answer, because we have 4 holes. Then, we had 3.7, so that's 3 holes and 7 tenths, and we were adding 3.5, so 3 wholes and 5 tenths. When we put our tenths together, we got 12 tenths, but that's the same as 1 whole and 2 tenths, so we carried the 1 whole over to our 1's place value column and left the 2 tenths in our answer line. Then we did 1 plus 3 plus 3 to make 7 wholes, and you can see that we have 7 whole bars here. We can also show what we did using place value counters. For the first question, we started with 3.4, so 3 ones and 4 tenths, and we were adding 6 tenths. So if we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths, we now have 10 tenths altogether. But we can exchange 10 tenths for one whole, and that means that we have four holes altogether as our answer. Then we had 3.7, so three ones and seven tenths. We started by adding five tenths, but if we add one, two, three tenths, we can exchange and then add four, five tenths. So adding five tenths meant that we could make one extra hole and then we had two tenths in our answer line. Then we just added three more ones, so one, two, three, to give us seven ones altogether and our answer of 7.2.